So we're just going to go up the trail a little ways here today. Not all the way up, probably up to around here. Just an exercise hike. This is a super steep trail and uh, snow covered and I'm falling way behind Gordon because I am not in hiking fitness at the moment. That's okay. Take my time. Bring myself back to fitness. Uh, interesting conditions today. It's pretty slippery and I'm very grateful for wearing my yak tracks, which are kind of like snow tire chains for your boots. <laughs> they, uh, they have an elastic band that goes around the, the sole of your boots and they stop you from sliding. They're pretty much perfect in these conditions and they're really great but they really make you feel more comfortable when you're hiking up a trail especially one that's packed in obviously if you're walking on snow like that you need to have your snowshoes otherwise you just keep sinking in the snow okay, take a little break ooh, that's hard, it's steep oh, I still have a little ways to go and Gordon is nowhere to be seen nice though So in steep snow like this, micro spikes would be much better than yak tracks. Now the yak tracks work reasonably well here, but they do slip. The micro spikes on the other hand would pretty much grip, they're just small crampons. Where we like the yak tracks better though, is on trails that aren't so steep, and where you cross rock and water crossings a bit more often. That's a bit better there because the spikes don't grab in as much. Each for a different use. Usually as far as we go for our quote fitness hike usually takes us about uh, an hour and 10 an hour and 15 minutes to get here and then we usually pause turn around uh, stop maybe two minutes turn around head back it's just enough to get uh, a decent workout get our heart rate up because some of the trails fairly steep and we get a pleasant view with some of the trees the forest snow makes it really pretty and then we turn around and head back down so our total hiking time is usually somewhere around two hours and 15 minutes something like that just enough as I said before we call it really our fitness staying in shape uh, for hiking 
trip if we're not able to get out in the mountains on another trip. It's probably only about 350 or 400 meters, so maybe a little under, a little over a thousand feet, maybe uh, maximum 1,200. If we did the trip all the way up, we'd be getting about 1,500 feet of elevation gain. So these are the micro spikes I was talking about on the way up. You can see they're uh, nice little crampons. Uh, you get them obviously in different sizes for your shoes, but they grip very well. They're not as nice as uh, full crampons, obviously, but they're pretty good. Now compare that to the Yak Tracks. So you can see the Yak Tracks just have the little coils, but as I noted, they're a lot nicer when you're stepping on, um, you know, rock and and less steep trail. They're uh, they're actually probably better. These would be better to run in. The micro spikes would be tough, uh, and you wouldn't really need them unless you're on really ice, a really icy area or a steep section. So that's just on Mickey's boot. You can see how nicely they fit and how they grip nice in around the ball of the foot and then also in the heel. So it's very, uh, very conducive to good traction. <laughs> I wouldn't go any up this way without snowshoes normally. The yak tracks were great coming up the hill, um, but you know, in these types of conditions, going downhill can be pretty slippery. Um, so, and it's actually harder, I find sometimes. Um, you don't get as winded as much when you're going downhill, but it's, you do slide a little bit more because your feet are pointing downwards. So the yak tracks were great. Um, they did offer some level of traction, but these micro spikes are actually really digging into the snow. And I feel almost as comfortable as if I was just uh, walking on the ground. So in this section here, um, the snow is a little bit uh, less packed and loose and I did find there was a little bit of slippage with my micro spikes. Um, you had to be a little careful coming down. So on sections like these where the snow disappears because of the creek growing, um, I still have micro spikes on but I walk very gingerly on the rock because the rock can damage the spikes. We're lower down now and actually these are conditions here where the micro spikes really shine because it's a little bit icy, a little coating of snow and they go really well. Gordon said he, he was wearing his yak tracks down and he did find that they were quite slippery so um, I think it was smart of me to change over to micro spikes. Getting back to the main trail and there's a little bit of sunshine filtering through the trees.